business must be doing well if you can afford a car like this. Nothing but the best for my little brother. Hey, I thought I might give it a real test later if you're up for it. Jenny? No, thanks. Got loads of work to be getting on you. Oh, what a shame. Even a flash new motor can't make you hit with the ladies. Oi. <laughs> it's red on his brain, didn't it? He started it, right? Right, we've lost enough productivity for one day. Everyone back to work, please. Right, come on. Let's go. Are you satisfied? It's like I said, Justin does have a right to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we all know that you just opened that he won't let her take Jacob away. I'm not going to apologise for that. Okay. But just remember what he's doing to Jacob, watching you all fighting over him. Because it is him that you say you both love so much. You're playing this all wrong. A UN peacekeeping force would give up on Nicola and Jimmy. Yeah, it's a fine balancing act. I needed some time for a fair, and he was the only one around. Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Well, if you're my daughter, it's not. No, she'll say I've gone behind her back. Mind you, it's not right. I don't care how she feels. She shouldn't keep Jimmy away from seeing Angelica. You should be telling this to Nicola, not to me. Well, I have. She takes no notice. Mind you, Jim is just as bad. I asked him to take Angelica to the playgroup. Then he find out he's in some adventure park in Robblesfield. <laughs> you want to start standing up for yourself. Grandparents have got rights and all. We're not just a free babysitting service for when Mum and Dad are too busy squabbling. They want to look at the mess they're making of that child's life before they start telling you what's right. So are you going to tell her? Well, I probably won't have to. I gave her some money to get ahead, and what with that and the shopping, I'll probably be getting Angelica ready for bed before she's even home. Hold on tight. Legs that front. Legs that front. That's it. One, two, three, whee! Oh, I suppose we should be getting home soon, Angel. Oh, another half hour won't hurt. One seafood salad with chicken and a latte. Thanks, Brenda. We don't often see you in here for lunch. Oh, Declan gave me the afternoon off. I'm just having a quick bite to eat, and I'm off into Harrogate to get my hair done. Okay. That's treat. Shame our Jenny gave up hairdressing. You wouldn't have so far to go. Yeah, well, I'm uh, very particular about who I let near my hair. Yeah, so am I. Mind you, I do like that mobile hairdresser from Skipdale. Cut, colour, perm, whatever you like. And she comes to your house. Oh, when should you? She's just been. You were there. Oh, you had asked for my money back. Hello? Oh, hi, Tracy. Yeah, I'll be on my way to you in a minute. What? Oh, well, can't you find someone else? No. no I'll see you. I'll see you later. My stylist has just been rushed into hospital with appendicitis. Oh, dear. I hope she's all right. Never mind her. They've cancelled my appointment. Oh, well, you'll have to give your daddy's money back now, won't you? Well, I suppose you can afford it after the airport run. I heard him talking to Jimmy about it this morning. What's Jimmy got to do with it? Well, early start. Rodney needed somebody to take Angelica to play with. I knew it's up to something. I was clearing out the loft, and I found these photos of you and Jack. I thought you might like them now you're off to start a new life. I was a little turned away about then. I'm lucky Jack saw some good in there. You still miss him? Yeah, I do. I really do. I never really had a proper family until they took me in. I'll always own for that. You're not having second thoughts, are you, about moving away? No, I reckon it's time for a fresh start. Have you booked the flights yet? Well, I was going to do it this afternoon. What's the problem? Just Layla trying to put me off. Well, it's not her call. I know, but she's threatening to tell Justin. Well, I did tell you to talk to him. Tell him that it's just a holiday. You know, he might be fine with it. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure, which is why I wasn't planning on mentioning it. Well, I told you to keep him in the picture. <laughs> Family matters. That's one thing Jack taught me. Yeah, well, you and me and Jake are family enough for me. Look, we want to go. The less people that get involved, the better. But he's still his dad. <sighs> Look, we're only going for a couple of weeks this time. I don't say out. I reckon he won't even notice how Jake's been away. Well, I'd have been gutted if Debbie wouldn't check with me about taking Sarah to Jersey. I'd be a lot happier if he was a bit more upfront with him. Why not? Excuse me. Brenda. 
What did you tell her that for? Oh. What? Nicola knows. She's going round to the playgroup. You're a dead man. Can you wait for me the other side? Hey! Do you mind asking your son to be a bit more careful? He could have kicked her there. Stay there, Angel. Come on. Come across. Good girl. There's a good girl. Is Angelica back at playgroup yet? No, we're still at the playground. Get her back here, double quick. Well, she's having a lovely time. We're going to be at least an hour yet. Jimmy, you haven't got an hour. Nicola's got the afternoon off. I'm sick of her calling the shots. If I want to spend an afternoon with my daughter, I will. Angel! Jimmy! Uh, he's hung up on me. <sighs> Have you had a bump? <coughs> what happened, darling? Oh, sweetheart. Hey. Look, I'm sorry that Charity upset you. I'll take a bit more than sorry. Can't you see what she's doing? She's trying to muscle her way in and... I'm not having her profiting from our business. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. You, know, you just don't want to see it. I'm going to spell it out for you. There's not room for me and her in that factory. It's time you made a choice. Did you manage to get through to him yet? Yeah. Nicola's going to kill me. Hi, Princess. Don't princess me. I've just come from player group. Yeah, I can explain. Why would I believe a single word you say? You traitor. Where's my baby, you creep? I'll be straight there. It's my daughter. She needs to see a doctor. Straight away! All right, sir, calm down. I just need to take some details. <laughs> oh, darling, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, it's all my fault, Diane. That's where secrets and lies get you. Let's hope you all learn a lesson from this. Justin will be cool about it. Like I said, me and Debbie spoke before she went to Jersey and everything were fine. Yeah, well, even if it does, there's another problem. School aren't too happy about it. I thought you told Layla that they were okay about it. Yeah, because I can't stand that I told you so look that she gets on her face, so I... I bent the truth a bit. So what did they say, then? That they want me to keep him in class because they're worried about him falling behind. Well, fine. I've just put the trip back a few weeks. No big deal. We've got a whole new life ahead of us. We can wait till next month. No, we can't. She'll just make more excuses if we do. No, I have set my heart on this, and I'm not letting anyone talk me out of it, right? She's going to be all right? We won't know until she's seen a doctor. She'll be here in a minute. 